Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well during this crazy time that we're going through. Let me know if you are crafting during this difficult time and let me know what you are making. In this video, I added adhesive vinyl to a blank canvas that I picked up a little while ago at Hobby Lobby. I decided to make this bright and fun Hello Spring sign. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing if you are new to my channel and check out my Patreon account in my description box for images like this one. Project, I'm going to be using the new Cricut Joy machine, but you can use your Explorer or Maker machine for this project as well. But the first thing that I'm going to do is come up here and switch it to Cricut Joy. It makes it easier just to switch it to that at the beginning before you click on make it when you're ready to cut everything out. So I have it set to my Cricut Joy. Then I'm going to go over to shapes and I'm going to select a square. A lot of times to help me decide what size to make my image, I will grab a square and make it the size of my blank for whatever I'm adding the vinyl to. So I'm going to size this. My blank canvas is 28.5 inches wide and 6.75 inches tall. I'm going to hit unlock and I will size that right now. I'm going to zoom out, then I will change this to a white color. Now I'm going to upload my design. This design is a patron image. Actually, most of these designs are, these two are not, but the rest of these image images are all patron images. And I always have a link in my description box if you are interested in signing up. And you can use these for personal and commercial use. So I'm gonna move this down. What I want to do first is ungroup these. Here's all the different layers that go along with it. And to be able to change this up, you need to click ungroup. First, what I want to do is size hello. You can see that it's all one layer, so this is all connected. So what I'm going to do is make this smaller and fit it inside of my rectangle. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and see what size I want to make this. I feel like that looks pretty good. And now what I want to do is center this. So I'm going to highlight over both the rectangle and the word. Then I'm going to go up to align and I'll choose center horizontally. And you can see I'm always really off. I feel like when I think it's in the center. So this is just going to help me line everything up. Now what I'm going to do is move the flowers up to see how tall I want to make them. But these are all ungrouped. They're all different layers and I want to move them all together. So I'm going to highlight over all of these. Then I'm going to group them. When you group them, you can move, make them smaller and just kind of keep them all proportional. So I'm going to move this up and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I might make hello just a little bit smaller too. I think that looks good. Now I'm going to bring this back down. I'm going to go up here, click ungroup. And now what I want to do is group each flower together because I am going to space them out on here and I want to space them evenly. So I'll show you how I do this. I'm going to highlight over each tulip, then I'll choose group. Now I'm just going to move these up and actually I'm going to realign the hello first since I made it a little bit smaller. Now I'm just going to move these tulips up then I'll just arrange them. As you can see, these are not lined up at all. So I am going to show you how I line all of these up. So I'm going to hit shift on my keyboard and select each tulip. Oops. Then I'm going to go up to align 
and it helps to see these pictures on here. I'm going to distribute them horizontally. Now you can see that it distributes these evenly, but you can also see that they are not all aligned together. So I'm going to go back up and click align to bottom. So that is an easy way to line all this up. The next thing I want to do though is see how it looks centered. So I'm going to group it together and with it grouped, I'm going to hit shift and select my rectangle. Then I'm going to choose align center horizontally. It was actually really close. So I think that looks great and exactly how I want it. This canvas is a little bit longer than I would have wanted, but I think it'll still turn out really cute. So now I'm going to bring these back down. I'm going to ungroup every piece because now I want to change the colors of everything. So I'm going to go back and ungroup all of these. This first one, I am going to make it yellow, so I'll select it, then I will choose one of the yellows. For P, I'm going to make it pink. And you can see that this little dot inside of the P is a totally separate layer. So what I want to do is actually weld these together. So I'm going to select on that dot and you can see it's its own layer. Then I'm going to hit shift and select the other piece of the flower. You can see over in the layers panel that those two are the ones highlighted and I'm going to, going to click weld. It'll automatically change it to that pink color as well. And over here I have another dot for the G, so I'm going to select both of those and weld those together as well. For the R, I'm going to be using purple vinyl. For these, I'm going to use green. And now before going up and changing all of these colors, I am actually going to show you how I do this even quicker using color sync. So I'm going to do a pattern and do yellow, pink, green for the flowers, but I'm going to go up to color sync up here in the layers panel. And you can see here, all you have to do is drag it down to the color vinyl that you want. So it's really easy. I'm just going to bring all of this down. It makes it just a little bit faster and I want to make the eye yellow, the N pink and the green purple. So you can see how easy that was. So now I'm going to go back to my layers panel. The next thing that I want to do is for these green pieces, I want to cut them all together so that it stays proportional. So I am going to highlight over all of these. You can see that they're all selected again and I am going to select attach. That way it'll cut all together, it'll keep it aligned exactly how we aligned it on the screen. I won't attach any of these, they will all cut out separately along with the hello. I am going to hide our square or a rectangle. And this is one reason why I chose my Cricut Joy is because this is 19 inches for the width. The other vinyl that I have is 12 by 12 vinyl. So if you have a roll of vinyl, you can use this on a 12 by 20 format. But otherwise, if you don't and you're using your Explore or Maker, then I would attach these three and these three so it'll cut it out and still make it a little bit easier to line everything up. I really hope that makes sense. But now that I have everything sized and the color that I want, I'm going to click on Make It. This will look different if you have an Explorer or Maker machine since I'm using the Cricut Joy. For all of the vinyl except for the green, I'm going to be using vinyl I already have, so I'm going to need a mat for that. But for the green vinyl, I'm using the Smart Vinyl, so I won't be using a mat. So I am just going to choose multiple ways. Then I will click on Done. I'm going to go to each color and choose what mat I'm using. I'm going to select on a mat and I'll be using my four and a half by 12. Then I'll just do the same thing for each one.
This one I'm going to be using without a mat, which it's grayed out um, probably because you have to use it without a mat, I'm guessing. I'm going to switch this one to the mat I'm using. I'm not sure if it really matters, but just in case. I'm just using my regular vinyl for all of these except for the green one. I'm going to click on browse, browse and just search for vinyl. There is so many different options. Mine is actually 651 vinyl. Um, so I think I'll just choose premium vinyl and try that. Then I'll click on done and I'll show you how I cut all of these out. Since I'm using my Cricut Joy Machine, I decided to cut my vinyl down to the size of the image it will be cutting out. To do this, I look at the Make It screen and go off of the squares on the mat. I like to use my Cricut Self Healing Mat. The squares line up the exact same as the mat on the computer. I add a little extra space of vinyl just to make sure I don't cut the vinyl too small. I've done that several times and wasted vinyl in the past because the design cut off of the vinyl. I just bought this Cricut cutting ruler and it's amazing. I like to use this along with the rotary cutter on top of the self-healing mat to cut the vinyl. I'm using Oracle 651 vinyl. If you've watched quite a few videos of mine in the past, this is my all-time favorite adhesive vinyl to use. Using the Cricut Joy Blue Light Grip Mat, it's brand new and pretty sticky still, so it worked perfectly with my vinyl. I press the mat up against the rollers and it will automatically feed the mat into the machine. Then on your device, it'll pop up with a go button and you just select that and it'll automatically start cutting. The Cricut Joy has cut out all of these colors. Now it's on to the green Smart Vinyl. What you want to do is change this setting to Smart Vinyl. And I chose Smart Vinyl Permanent. Here's the Cricut Smart Vinyl. It has a thick backing so it can cut without a mat. After all the vinyl is cut out, I'll weed out all of the designs. I like to do this on my self-healing mat also. I get a lot of questions about the pink nail polish holder that I'm using. I love using this to weed out my adhesive vinyl. I bought it off of Amazon and I'll link it down below. I'm using Expressions Vinyl Transfer Tape. This works so well, I just love using it. I place the transfer tape over all of the vinyl decals, then I use my rotary blade and scissors to cut around it. To center my design, I placed a ruler on top of the canvas and I bent the vinyl back to find the center of the vinyl decal. Next I place the rest of the decals down. I like to use my XL scraper to press the vinyl into the transfer tape. I like to scrape it on the back of the decal. For some reason this makes a big difference in helping the vinyl stick better.
Let me know if you guys decorate for spring or Easter. I always like to decorate, but I still have not gotten anything out. I feel like just with everything going on, it's been hard to get motivated, but I might try to get my decor out within the next couple of days. Here's what it looks like when it's all done. I felt like this was such a bright and happy sign to help add some cheer to this difficult time that we are all facing right now. I hope you guys are all doing well and I hope you enjoy this video and have a great day.